needed it was much needed for real because the sister's been stressed out you know so mm -hmm. i had to take some time to regroup <laughs> mm -hmm. had, to, had to take some time off to uh to regroup <laughs> and get things back into perspective you know everybody got to have that zen time you know so what's been going on with everybody <laughs> well, hey, i can say it today already today already i mean oh what's going God. on with y'all we got little kush jr in the house Junior, little twinsies. Just <laughs> your brother here. I'm just laughing. Oh my god. Um, what's up with y'all? What y'all do this weekend? I'm not starting mm -hmm. first, so y'all go ahead. Oh, okay. You know what? You know I was looking your way like. Yeah, I see you. Like, you, know, <laughs> no. you know you're like, Kim, what you do? Anna. So what's <laughs> me, been going okay. on, Anna? Me, um, same old stuff with me because, you know, I am in the process of selling my house. Mm -hmm. So I just been really busy cleaning up almost like every day. I spent 10 hours between today and yesterday, like getting my stuff together because I have a photographer coming tomorrow. Okay. So nothing really, you know, Shit. new. <laughs> Gosh, so what has happened since the last time we were on the show? I mean, we done had Easter. We had my yes. birthday. My That's little birthday right. party. Oh, oh my gosh. Hey. Yes. Shout out so. to y'all, Aries. Do we have videos and pictures of oh the birthday? Oh my God. Probably we did, so. Yeah, so we, she did. The money. Go ahead and know. This First of all, she up. snuck the way and didn't tell us until we seen it on Facebook. Like, what? She had a time. What's that? Mm -hmm. I just did my little sneak away. And that was this weekend. I had Yeah, but to, the birthday was. Birthday was a few weekends ago, and uh, that's me in Nashville on the rooftop. Look at your little country. Did you get your little cowboy on there? Cowboy hat. Look, cowboy. No, I took a cowboy with me. Oh, <laughs> did you bring him How back? About that? Did you bring him back? That, that looked like him in the there picture. There he goes, right there in the back. See, y'all can't see his face. Y'all can just see Look. his Yeah, hand. no face, no quit, case. Quit meddling with me. No face. <laughs> meddling. Quit oh, hey, meddling. You say that word. <laughs> meddling. But yeah, there Look I am. That. Uh -uh. That's her signature right there. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> My That's how. That's My how you know when I say, honey, I'm the shit, honey. Look honey, at you. I was ready to hit the street cow yesterday with that cowgirl. Cowgirl uh, fierce. So Nashville was turned up as usual. <laughs> I mean, it was like, it was a guy walking down the street and said, F COVID. You know, oh, live, okay. best, live your best life. You know, oh, okay. Like, I was like, okay. There you, go. you know, so, you know, they was... He ready to die. In the okay. bars and stuff, they, <laughs> yeah, did, he ready to die. they did require you if you were going to be, which... Obviously, it's a bar. You're in pro, uh, close proximity with others. They recommended uh -huh. that you wear a mask. Right. It was not required that you wear one, especially if you was outside mm -hmm. or on the rooftop. And then they had all these other different little restrictions. Like, uh, you know, when we were down there, you could drink on the street. Yeah. yeah. Carry your drink around. You could not have your drink outside of the club setting. But what was oh, the wow. point? Well, why not? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what that's mm -hmm. about. But that was they had big signs up. It was like, no drinking outside or whatever. Yeah. So, uh it was a little slightly different, but people was doing their thing. It was anyway, people exactly. everywhere you on know, Broadway. People do that anyway, yeah. I don't get the whole mask in the restaurant weekend. thing. I just, I, I really just don't get it. You don't uh, get what? Wearing a mask in the restaurant and you can you take can. it off at the table. <laughs> I don't, huh? no, I don't understand why you got to put it on when you walk in the door, and then you take and it off take when it off you get in the door and sit down. Well, because we're down. breathing the same air. The same COVID is still facility. at the table. So like, it's like mean? my breath does not stop at the end of the yeah, table. Yeah, like only COVID is at the door. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. I guess they said they just want you to have your mask off 
while you're around your specific party that you came with mm -hmm. and not expose yourself to everybody that kind of comes in. There. But you're still breathing. Mm -hmm. I know. In the same facility. Just, but right, no people coughing and stuff spreads. But, but hey. a lot of people are getting vaccinated. A lot of vaccinations yep. going on. I did, Team are you vaccine done? over here. I'm done. Okay, well, team no vaccine over here. In the end. <laughs> team no vaccine team over no here. Vaccine. No vaccine over I here. know y'all done seen this stuff about the Johnson and Johnson. I'm gonna have yes. to work on the blood clot mm -hmm. and all the the, the thing that is going to them. It's all females that was causing the, that had the blood clot. They over there tweaking the mm -hmm. same Johnson Johnson. They said if you use that powder back in this, exactly. you are they obligated can't even do powder. to they a lawsuit for up some. Up uh, Ovarian council. Mm -hmm. I ain't playing with y'all. Johnson and Johnson. I ain't playing with y'all. They've been in business for a long time. And yeah, they show they're gonna kill y'all for a long time. I know six is too many. Mm -mm. Six is too many with the blood clot situation. But this is six people out of millions. I do understand Doesn't they're matter. pulling back on it so that they can study it some more. But I don't think it's like something that's detrimental that it's just gonna kill off everybody or that's gonna I mean, cause mass and blood clots. Well, I know, but every drug has some kind of reaction to, to with uh, everybody. Yeah, you know, you never know true. what's going on. Anna, you can't. With this is a nurse. Don't argue right. with the nurse. Mm -hmm. Don't argue with the nurse. I'm team vaccine. I'm not arguing. So I'm just, I gotta you gonna let her have it. I gotta get y'all vaccinated. No, ma'am. You can stay over there where you at. Mm -mm. Who me? We no, got... I'm talking about her. Tomorrow, oh. I'm gonna get y'all vaccinated. No, you're not. You oh, I know exactly. Right no, not me. You work in healthcare. I sure do. Right. I work at home. Not for now. You do. I work in a corporate office. So I ain't see no patients. Office. No, they don't need to see me. They My see her virtually. At home. They see her virtually. Hello, preach it. <laughs> I said, for now, you, you ain't gonna it. be remote forever. Preach it. Hopefully, I go do. Back in the but you know what? Week. You know in what I office. heard because I was trying to travel to Virginia yes, and I was going somewhere else. I forgot where I'm I was gonna going. be leaving y'all. But it would be on the uh, yeah. plane without you. Exactly, but okay. you know what I heard? Oh, in <laughs> Texas, Texas, that's right. One of my besties, Kelly. Hey, Kelly. Um, she was down here this weekend from Texas, and I told her I was going to come visit her, and she was like, well, come visit, you know, maybe for Mother's Day or something. It's going to be in a but car not, driving. No, I'm not, but, well, exactly. But she said that um, you have to be vaccinated to get on the plane, like anywhere. Yeah. So I'm like, well, I'm not driving for 10 hours. Yeah. I'm not. I don't know how that's going to work. With them doing that, mm -hmm. I can see going out of the country. You know, yeah, international going out of the country travel. Is one thing, but in 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 the U.S., we're gonna Come see on, how man. that's gonna work because they're gonna lose too much money because people, some, you know, some people just refuse to get vaccinated. You can't. Ultimately, you can't make they them. can't make people do that. It's a choice, yeah. So, yeah. But, you know, I'm ready to go wherever I want to because I got my card in there with it. My card is in with my passport. Mm -hmm. I got both of them together. Let's you know go. What? And I need to get mine Jamaica's together. Jamaica's calling. Exactly. I keep yeah. forgetting to <laughs> update my passport. My 10 years is up. Yeah. But anyway, I'm sorry, Jack. God, leave. Okay, I'm, I'm going to get together. <laughs> so I, I need to make some moves. So, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um, just, to, uh, you know, of course, y'all know about I was um my show. I had a show yesterday. That's what I've been in, you know, my first mm -hmm. hosting show. And I got to tell y'all once I get to my segment, um, KP Around the House, on how that happened and how I end up being in tears at the end of the night. So y'all stay tuned for that. Um, <laughs> you know, of course, just me, KP being KP, uh, learning. I took two classes on how to start doing my own t-shirt business. So I done bought all of my equipment. So now I'm trying to learn how to do t-shirts. And my son happy because now he want to do his own t-shirts. So, <laughs> you know, I'm yeah. doing my thing. Just, you know, just uh, grinding, hustling. Right. Um, you know, I mean, t-shirts for, for the whole basketball mold, team. You know? yeah. Hey, that, <laughs> that's how I am, moving in silence. <laughs> that's Anna that's don't like too. that. She be like, you so sneaking it. I like it. it. Uh -uh. But I move in <laughs> silence. You ain't got to tell everybody everything yeah. you're doing. I'll and then, of course, you know, we lost two legends back to yes, back. That's why I'm in my I'm in my New York gear today. I'm in a New York state of mind today. So, of course, we lost my boy DMX, and then we lost Black Black Rob. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we got a lot to talk about today. So, yeah, we ready to jump into this today. So, anyway, other than that, ladies. Oh, my God. What? What? I'm just so silly. Okay. Wait. I'm, I'm just like, I'm really ready to talk about what happened to me. But I'm going to just really wait about it because it really was a life-changing event for me. And it's just, it's amazing how the smallest little things can change your whole perspective mm -hmm. and outlook on life. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So, you know, I, I believe God places you at the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. yep. No matter how big or small your venues are, mm -hmm. it's just whoever's there is there. Yep. And whoever's not, oh well. That's but right. whoever God wanted to be there was, was there. there. That's you know right. what I'm saying? That's right. So today I feel kind of emotional. I feel like preaching today, but... Well, come on. I'm, you know, it's not, a Sunday. I'm Go ahead, Kim. Preach, preach right, Pastor Kim. I'm preach. not going to preach today. <laughs> I'm, I'm not... <laughs> Um, let's talk about what's coming up on the show. We uh, let's talk about this love and relationship panel we yes, got coming up. Yes, I'm so 
excited. Are we ready? I'm Are we ready? So excited. Yeah. Woo. We have finally got it together. We can't y'all. tell them who's coming. We can't <laughs> no, tell we them who's coming. No, y'all going to have to tune y'all in. Y'all have to tune in, and y'all do yes. not. Yes. The next miss. show, May the 2nd. <laughs> y'all make sure y'all tune it is, in. We're about to turn the it's two hours, right? up two it's hour two hours. show. Eight to ten. Eight to ten. Eight to ten. So. We're finna dig in all your business, all the juicy <laughs> gossip. Right. It's no bars. Like we asking whatever. We gonna ask whatever, and you so know, if you and shot, we gonna have our panel of men and women to. Yes, ah, right. We got the player. Yes. We have the single person, and then we, we have, have the married couple. couple and the married couple. Mm-hmm. The person. Yes. Yeah. Married person. Married person. Woman. Married person. Man. Man. That's right. Mm-hmm. So I want to talk to the player. We are gonna get perspectives from everybody. <laughs> Not everybody. The new points. We want y'all to call in. This is gonna be a great show. I'm gonna be in the gonna, singles category. You know. You know. We've been talking about this relationship panel for a long time. Yes, we have. So, yeah. Because all the Guys people swear they the relationship guru. Girl, let me tell you something. <laughs> we the guru. We the gurus around right here. <laughs> For real. Who makes who a guru? <laughs> For real. All of us have been in some situations. Yeah, who it's just based situations? on experience. Still still in you know what I'm saying? About still experience. in some. Yeah. We, we all three different women have been in three still different in situations. Still in some, honey. You know, <laughs> different everything. We all like three different kind of men. Well, mm-hmm. maybe not all of us, but you know. You know yeah. why? Yeah. Uh-uh. Somebody <laughs> like that chocolate, too. Uh-huh. I have a type. Oh, mm-hmm. you got a type. Yeah. Yeah, we got the same type. Yeah, she definitely type. Had Not the type. same. <laughs> no, we don't have the same type. We don't have the same type, Anna. I don't think so. Yeah, okay. Don't play with me. <laughs> don't play with me. I, I don't ta- know if y'all do, though. Exactly. Uh, yeah. I mean, we do, but we don't. It's like we do, but we don't. <laughs> okay, we don't need that long. <laughs> All we know is we like chocolate, so that's it. Just say no more. That's all three of us say like no that. Say no more. Well, tall right. chocolate. You like white chocolate too, hey? Imagine thing I be talking about. Who is white like chocolate? Me. I'm not screwing you. I'm talking about oh men. Oh, my God. We were not talking about screwing, kids. Yeah, we're talking about the same type of man, not woman. I don't like you women. So y'all see what we got to look forward to when it comes to <laughs> They done got hyped already. Yes. We still got two weeks for it, but y'all make sure y'all oh tune in because, gosh. I mean, we are going to kill it. We, uh, we've so been waiting ready. for this for so long. We are so excited to have people in the studio with us. And yes. we are just going to do it and, and uh, get it done. Right. And y'all be looking out for who's going to be next. So you might yes. be one of the ones that we choose. So y'all let us know if y'all interested mm-hmm. in coming. Because it is them. becoming, it is a part of Love and Hips now. Yes, so. it's yeah. going to be a quarterly thing. Yes. So mm-hmm. every three months we're going to be looking mm-hmm. to, for you. So if you want to be on the panel, you, you make you sure. Yes. Get Let on us know. Your Send us an email. That's right. It's all, Don't all DM me. Send me an email. Love and hip. Was it love and hip.com or something? Yeah. Love and hips. It's weekly. on the that weekly. Yeah, it's on the yes. flyer. Mm-hmm. Don't DM mm-hmm. me. Don't be like Kim. Put me up. No, so, no I know. No. All these DMs have got to stop. Don't oh, DM me. Either. That's a whole different issue. By oh that. my uh-uh. god. That's no. a whole different issue. Maybe about yeah, that. Don't they? <laughs> well, that's and also. So what's our hot topic for today, Anna? Yeah, the hot topic is: Can you fake being in love for benefit? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Dun, so if you guys want to answer that question, call in at 470-251-4647. Oh, I'm and trying to we, think of my we thoughts. We did put that question. question in the group. So, um, oh, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> <sure>. <laughs> I was like, wait, who's mowing on my phone? That was me. Yeah. Um, yeah, we put that question in the group. So we have a couple answers from some of our um, people in the group. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Other than that, what else have you been, y'all been going? I mean, what's been going on? I can't even talk today. And I done rested <laughs> all day because I was so tired. But yeah, today I'm your rested. Your makeup's looking all good. Yeah. You're looking all fresh. Yeah. All fresh, so, fresh so, to so, death today. So, yeah. so, so, I'm, you know, I'm classy, but I'm hood. So I'm, I'm beating today. I have to throw it together. I, I put all my... Uh, my fabulousness out there this weekend. So, you, know, I have so you ain't got nothing to get today. Not, this, this, this is it right here. This is it. Toy, what's been going on with you and Toy's World? Uh, no, Toy, let's talk about what's coming up with Strut. Let's go. It's about that time. It is. Let's go. You know, our, um, you know, our manager, he just keeps nagging me about this, about Strut. Strut is about to make a return. I know That's everybody's right. been like, well, oh, okay. you know, I still have a the lot comeback. of people asking me, like, what's going on? I still have the brand out there, and uh, I have been making clothes, but I haven't been selling them. Uh, and that's because I've been in the home buying process. It has consumed my life for the past right. five months. So mm-hmm. um, that is about to come to an end. Woo-woo. <laughs> Thank you. And we're about to Praise be over God. there. Praise God. I'm about to be a homeowner. And um, woo, woo. so that's been, uh, that's that's been on the cool. forefront of everything. Once I get that settled in this next coming month, then I will be... Announcing some stuff that I'm gonna do for Strut, which y'all know I'm all about that runway. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to put together 
either a show or a major uh, fashion shoot for Strut. And I'll probably bring in another designer as well. I think I you should do a see. show. Yeah. I think it's time for you to get on that day and do it a really show. It really is, and I really wanted to do like uh, one, like last year, you know, the world went crazy. <laughs> of course. I really wanted to do a derby thing fashion show mm. because you know I'm Miss Kentucky over here. Okay. And okay. it's derby time again. <laughs> and I don't even know if they're gonna have the derby again, um, because of COVID. We're it supposed may be to be going. Yeah. We're yeah. supposed yeah. to be going. Yeah, we're supposed girl, to be going. We're supposed to be getting our hats and everything. I swear I got right. the hat ready. I've been having this hat now, okay, going on two years and I have not worn it because that is my derby hat. So <laughs> eventually I will get to wear it to the derby whenever they get it back together. But that was the whole purpose. But probably Maybe June or July, I can I, I hope to have uh, put together a show. I got the whole idea, concept, location, everything in my head. So it's just well, execution. You know that you you have models on deck. They oh, are time. definitely on standby. They ready too. They ready. They like, they're what's ready going to on? strut. <laughs> they they like, ready to absolutely strut, strut that thing down the walkway. I do. I have some big plans for strutting. Hopefully, it's going to come into fruition by the end of the year. Well, we're going to manifest that in Jesus' name. That's right. We're going to bring that on into That's my baby. So, you know, I can't can't throw my baby by the wayside. There it is. Strength, talent, refined, unique tenacity. Love it. That's right. All right. All right. (laughs) Well, I know, guys, of course, you were supposed to have a special guest today, Mm -hmm. Miss Ada Zane Williams. She is, you know, uh, one of the CEOs of Play Bistro here in Atlanta. Mm Mm-hmm. But, you know, being a boss lady and, you know, taking care of a lot of situations, sometimes things come up. Mm -hmm. So she wasn't able to come in today, but we do, you know, want to, I want to actually personally thank her for just allowing me to be at her venue yesterday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. If if y'all haven't been, y'all should check it out. It's a beautiful Mm -hmm. place. It's real, very quaint. And then outside has a big patio with okay. lawn chairs and all kind of games. It's kind of like awesome. the same thing at um, Punt City Market, you know, yeah. top rooftop. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It has the same kind of thing. Feel okay. right. Yes. It just powers, uh, yeah. powers spring. What is it? Powers Fair? Powers Spring? Powers Spring. Yeah. Yeah. A long way. I was reading up on it. She, she has like uh, best friend nights. And yes. Games Poetry and, yeah. night. When I left, yes. we did the fashion show. After that, okay. they had comedy night. So I was okay. like, well, I'm going to go home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. We done been there since like 2 o'clock. Right, right. And when I tell you she's so honorable, she fed all the models. You oh, know, that's good. the designers, she fed them. Mm-hmm. Um, and we had drinks. That's what you're supposed to do. It right? was just an amazing event. Thing. Like, Oh, so dope, but we'll talk about that she later. She's itching to tell y'all about her. Yeah, about I'm, I'm so itching, I'm itching, because my life has so changed. <laughs> she's going to tell y'all about it. Yes, on, uh, but, and then she also, you know, she has a, a a show, a TV show also, Beyond, was it Beyond Beauty, Beyond yeah, Grace? Yeah, Beyond yes. Beauty, and yeah. And she helps mm-hmm. women mm-hmm. identify standing in your truths, and you know, the, okay. you know, she said, of Love course, that. she said, I'm, I'm going to be on the show. That's what she told me. She said, I need to help you. Which I said, you don't need to help me identify nothing. I know I'm crazy. <laughs> but yes. she know, she can help yes. me because I always definitely believe in standing in your truth. Yes. And, that's right. You know, and being comfortable with who you are. Yeah, Let's just say right. that much. <laughs> and not being afraid to tell your story because anybody know me know. You I would tell you. transparent. I would tell you my story. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I didn't wake up and look like this. It took time for me to look like I know this. You, yeah. <laughs> I, just I woke somebody, up like this. <laughs> I had just told somebody that too this what? this past weekend that you know I'm an open book. I'm transparent. You know, uh, if it's something that you want to know about me, just ask. I will tell you. Uh huh. Uh, you know, but I. <laughs> you said uh huh. You looking at me like that's not true. <laughs> but I do right. things to myself. They so but transparent, but then moving in silence. You see, I'm looking at her like, oh yeah. They okay. so transparent, but then moving in silence. I love it. Yeah, but I don't, I mean, you, I don't mean you got to tell everybody your every move. That means you that if somebody asks or asks you something, that you're willing to tell your story. Right. I will tell you if you ask or if you inquire. Oh, and I and I do volunteer a lot of information Put, about slap myself. Slap her phone on the floor. <laughs> slap her phone on the floor. But I don't know what's going on with this <laughs> iPhone 12. No, I love know. her iPhone. I sure want it, but oh well. You know what, Toy? Don't start with me because it's always usually you with your going. ringing, your daddy calling, your I know, right? Whatever. Girl, they be right. calling me all during the show and stuff. I'm like, Daddy, I can't talk oh, hey, to you. Hey, Kelly. Right? Kelly's You're watching. So hey, Kelly. You're so silly. <laughs> but anyway, lady. So since you know we don't have our special guest, let's go ahead and to jump into Anna's topic. So, I know we have a lot to say about that. And I want y'all to call in. And you definitely got to read some of the comments. Yes. Because they be off the chain. But So, uh, let's go. What is it now, Anna? It is, can you fake being in love for benefits? 
Oof. Who gonna answer that one first? Um, hmm. I feel like it happens every day, really. People do that all the time. <laughs> that's your answer? Yes, that's my answer. Wow. Me personally, no. I can't fake being in love at all because I'm all about love. Like, I'm the love of the show. Hello? That's the hips over there? No. <laughs> I don't know where her, I know her answer is. somewhere in the middle. But, uh, <laughs> she <laughs> the end. End. It works for me because yeah. I'm a little bit of both. I ain't got no hips, though, so I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm, either, so, yeah, I'm so, the love. Yeah, I'm the love. Just I can't, little man over here. I can't fake, I can't fake any, anything, so I can't. I'm just very straightforward so I can't do that and I don't need the benefits I got my own stuff so I'm independent anyway so, but, <laughs> but we're not talking about just you we're just talking yeah. about period can you know what do you think so are really? you saying but that's what I'm saying I'm answering so, the question okay. right are you so saying for benefits me, as, in, as in sex or is ben, it benefits any type of, or just any, any type, type of benefits. benefits like if you're in a relationship with someone and you know you there's a, like sex is involved and the, the man is taking care of you or your bills or your needs or whatever and he's a wealthy man so can you fake the love for him just to stay in the relationship because of the benefits and what he's providing for you? For me, no, I can't. I have to have an attraction. I have to have a connection. That's just me. Like, I don't care how much money you have because I have my own stuff. So I don't need We know. Money. I'm good. No. Says the woman is rocking a brand new Louis Vuitton purse over there. You know what? I'm, I'm telling you. I know it. God, me. I mean, but God. I'm on 12 and I'm doing it all that stuff. <laughs> just showing off. Just showing off over there. Oh, y'all just everybody, putting me look, on the glass. She, everybody on the screen. she hurt my feelings. I, my Chanel, boy, that Louis Vuitton hurt my feelings. But I'm just playing. Okay, go ahead. I'm just messing. Okay, you know. But, yeah, but that's for me, my um, I can't fake love. You know, um, and I and I'm not even going to I'm attempt to try to I'm do that. I cannot. I'm through with her. I'm so sorry. I, I, I'm, I'm through with her. We don't know what's going on with this photo post. They were like yeah. doing this own thing. <laughs> but I can't. Her. I can't fake being in love with somebody or right. even having. You know, I'm gonna keep it real with you all the time. Uh -huh. it's, it's a benefit thing. Of course, I'm not gonna be like you know. I don't use people for anything. Right. But, and if if that was the case, I mean, I wouldn't be like, you know, of course, you know, I'm just with you for this, that, and the other. I have, however, <laughs> told someone before, you know, it just seems like that we have a sexual chemistry. So let's just keep it that. Let's not try to make it into something that it's not. But we so, know sex changes the whole dynamics of a relationship. Not necessarily all the time, because sometimes it's, if it's just good, that. It it's just the chemistry is good and the sexual is good. But outside of all of that, there's not any really any real connection, no real good good bones or foundation. All right, good bones. That's the only thing I, can, I know to say. <laughs> good bones and good foundation. Good bones and foundation, because it's like... That's why you're the mama of the group. Good bones and foundation. Um, that's exactly. what I'm talking about. I mean, that's just how I feel about it. I, but, I, yeah, I ain't going to try to to do the whole fake love situation. Yeah. You know, so I just can't. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people do it. I'm really looking for true love, so I, you know, I ain't ready to waste my time with all of that, trying to fake the fun. And you? Mm. Oh, Lord, I, I'm, not, I'm, there not, she I'm not. There I'm she not. Go. I'm finna give you two answers. Okay. No, we can only be one. Okay, yes give me no. one. Okay, one. <laughs> do women do it and men do it every day? Yes, we absolutely know that. Do I think that these these days and times people are really in relationships because they really love you? No, not they really. might. I think they care about you or have some, like you said, some kind of attraction towards you. The sex may be good or financially he's good. good or, you know, it's he might else. look like this or he got some perks. He work at H, uh, CNN or HBO or he, he work for VH1. He, he, he work for VH1. I'm going to talk to him. He's I don't a care. benefit package Yeah, himself. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, people date people for different reasons. But can they fake love? Yes. But at the end of the day, every woman woman, I don't know about men, because mm -hmm. I'm not going to speak for men, mm -hmm. want to really find Probably a man right. that really loves them and not based on because you look like this or certain things that you do yeah, or, or that you provide. Because like, money, yeah. I got a homegirl and they was like, girl, that's why, what she say? They, they say, women, you lose your man because you don't know how to suck his thing right. Can let me tell you, I know men that, that <laughs> Wait you, a minute, what? listen, we, I'm just saying, what? sucking men's penises, whatever, oh, is okay. not going to keep a man. A man only is going to be kept if he wants to exactly. be kept. Exactly, nothing's so, going to keep a man. You can, flip, or whatever. Whatever. You can, you yeah. can flip, do hot cockwheels, well, <laughs> pink <laughs> wig, yellow wig, mm -hmm. uh, hot red wig. You can do you can do threesome, foursome, fivesome. You can do whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, if that man don't want to be kept, he ain't going to be, I mean, he ain't going to be kept. So. That's right. 
I just think, you know, do I think that I don't know how I don't know how to feel no more because I don't <laughs> I used to feel like love is real. I used to. Mm-hmm. But do I think it's real now? No, I don't. I think everybody no, is not, it's a right. hustle. It's mm-hmm. a lie. It's a game. It's, it's like a contract. What I can get from you, <laughs> yeah. Or to in why. the beginning, the relationship only lasts mm-hmm. for like mm-hmm. 90 days. After 90 days, the game over. Like, ooh, mm-hmm. okay, got what I want. I'm yeah. like, dang. Not even 90 days. You know what I'm saying? It only lasts 90 days if you don't give it to them. If you give it to them before 90 days, it oh, is. you got to But shoot, right. they 91, they gone. Okay, you gave it to them. 91, they gone. So mm-hmm. it's just like, damn if you do, damn if you don't. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. That's why I'm a realist. I don't. I don't got over that part. Yeah. I'm just like it is what it is. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm joyful what it is. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. If it ain't, I right, holla, deuces. Mm-hmm. No love lost. But I, I'm not finna just invest in something that I just think I'm is not temporary. That's what I said. I'm, I'm not. Spade to spade. It is what it is. It this, is. This is what we have. Are we gonna continue doing this and continue this communication on this level, or are we just gonna call it? quits and just move forward and go on about our business and do something. Else. I don't have time to waste faking anything but, with anybody. But the sad reality <laughs> is it's 30 to 1 here. So mm. whatever you won't do it's a thousand other one. chicks that's, right. that's going and to that's do it. Yeah, that is the problem. problem. Mm-hmm. We can have standards. They be like, okay, y'all want to be high maintenance. Okay, I'm going to go to that hole right here who's going to bust it open <laughs> in five minutes. I can't compete. Right. I'm not. No. Exactly. I'm not. I, th- I, met, I ran to a lot of men. They said, oh, you too much. Are you high maintenance? Well, oh, well, I'm just not for you. That's right. Mm-hmm. So go on over there to that little nappy head wig, girl. <laughs> and go do what you do. <laughs> because you I ring that bell, Kim. <laughs> yes. Because what men, sometimes men want you to do is lower your standards. standards. Yes, they do. And I'm not, yeah. or they make you, or as a plus size woman, they feel like we have low self esteem. Mm-hmm. Wrong <laughs> answer. <laughs> Wrong no. women over here. Wrong. Yeah, yeah, not, not, these not, no, not these three. No, I'm not. not. Sorry. Yeah, that's, that, that's, so, that's definitely true. That that is you a said good a topic. Without one. That is an absolute good topic mm-hmm. because I mean, that up on the panel. yeah, you know, people people yeah. enter relationships for wrong situations, or mm-hmm. you think you love somebody, but you really don't. Because mm-hmm. when you get with them and you be like, damn, what the hell I done did now? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you done jacked up. But then you sometimes you stay in those relationships and then for bad reasons. For bad reasons, like you know, that's why sometimes when you're married and then you're stepping out because it's easier for you to be with a side chick because there's no issues. But then you know the woman the wife she knows what you're, what you're doing but she's not going that's nowhere that's bullshit to me because let me tell you <laughs> the wife i used to be the homie she... i used to be all that yeah. then once i got married i i got put in that little box okay mm-hmm. you're the wife now you sit your ass right here <laughs> right i'm about to go play in these streets no uh, exactly. it don't work that way exactly. if i'm your if i was your your chick back then, mm-hmm. I need to be your, the chick when I married you. Mm-hmm. Like, but, whatever it was back then, it need to be the same way when we say saying, I do. But what I'm saying is that the, that chick, the, the wife, she's not going anywhere because they have so much stuff That's together. It's That's benefits. She's getting all this and all that. That's whatever. a lie. So she's not going anywhere. Just, Money don't keep no line. woman. It don't keep everybody. Not everybody, but that's what people are doing. That's why these relationships are not relationships. They're contracts. It's like, okay. Well, yeah, financially, y'all yeah. go good. They but are. at the end of the day, you yearn for that. What about the women that you yearn for? Touch, or love, and exactly. affection. Exactly. But you just with this man because financially, he's good. But right. he can't do nothing else good nothing for you. Nothing else. Exactly. Nothing else. No, that's not going to work So then me. what? You going to get your side nigga. I need that nigga. affection. Mm-hmm. And most women do. You know, that's why you got to be an independent woman because you got to provide for yourself. So no. like that's for me, I'm independent. Like what If I'm looking for something, it's just love. Like That's what I need from you love Mm -hmm. trust i need to be able to trust trust is a huge thing for me so is respect but if you don't then bye i don't care and somebody you know told me that i don't listen I don't listen. Well, I most men listen. say that. We don't I, listen. I don't care. Don't tell me that. Cause most you know men what? say we don't listen You know anyway. what my response was? Um, you don't provide for me. You don't pay my bills. You don't do anything for me. So, therefore, I will not listen because I'm independent. I do everything myself. I'm not going to listen. You're not going to train me like a hoe. I'm good. No, I won't listen. Oh, that sounded personal. It did. It, it trained you like a what, Anna? Like my a hoe. hoe. Let me say. <laughs> now, okay, well, let, let me be like this. And I'm, you know, I'm going to be transparent. And me and Anna talk about being transparent all the time. All the time. And we talk about the differences. Why we think, well, why I think some men <laughs> go for, you know, other races, it, races, races or, or white you know, girl, like white women or whatever, yeah. because they're more hey, patient. Hey, I'm the white girl in the group. Hey. <laughs> because she's more patient and more tolerant, and she will put up more than what we will. Because we, I, I already yeah. know I got a mouth, so I'm gonna tell you. And we're gonna tell you. No, you know hell, Anna is gonna the, do the hell no. She okay? wants to compromise, and she's, you know, she's such a good. And person. I want to like fix stuff, and, and I want to show you what real love is. Yeah, and then she put like, like, oh, yeah. Let me just, yeah. And we like, dude, mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Fuck this. We not doing this. Yeah. And my we friend, done, actually, you know, a lot of my friends, like like my close friends, they are black women. And they we have these conversations as well. Mm-hmm. And they tell me, you know, black women are not going to put up with black men. We're tired. No. That's why black men, they already know that, you know, they're not going to go over here with a black woman because they have expectations. Like, I just hate it for the simple like fact they that... Come to different, it, they come to different... I just hate it for the simple races. fact that we are... Black, us black women are depicted as being mean. And, and angry, 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 black, angry black, woman. black woman. I can't oh, stand I can't that damn st- term. I can't stand it. I'm not angry. I'm not bitter. Say I'm it, mad baby. as hell. Okay, Say that's what it. I am. So if, it, if it's anything, that's what I am. Because we have had a lot of responsibility put on us because some of y'all brothers out here ain't handling your business. Okay, so this is what you get, that damn tongue. All right, uh, all up in your face, all the time. Uh, there it is. Oh, yeah, wow. but you know what? That's, that's, that's but you know what? Now, okay. I'm reading your mail today, okay? Read my mail, man. Yeah, you can't read my mail. On, on the other hand, some of the, some of our white sisters and, and stuff that they had a whole different growing up, a, a different upbringing. Some of them, mm-hmm. you know, they was born. They didn't have to do so much. They didn't have the uh, single family household where you got to be the mama, the daddy, all of this stuff. Yeah. So their situation is different. Mm-hmm. So they can they. Have a tolerate to be, more, tolerate more, and be like, "Yes, babe." Mm-hmm. And where we like now, mm-hmm. you can do it. What's wrong with you? <laughs> and you, it, you know, but you know, like I say, it is what it is. I mean, you go for what and you it's like. It's really not about women; it's about the men. The men need to step up and do what they're supposed to do. So there's not going to be all these yeah, bitter women out here. Angry and bitter, <laughs> exactly. Because it's, it's Somebody... an angry black woman. It's angry white women. It's about to be angry white uh, Russian woman in a minute. Because I'm sick of y'all too. <laughs> it's angry Asian women. It's angry. It's, <laughs> yeah, but and uh-huh. I got into an altercation with a close friend of mine and. We was talking and he said something and he was like, it's just something about y'all. Y'all always, there you go with that attitude, the angry black woman. I was like, hold on, let me stop you. The reason why a lot of women are angry black women, like you just said, Mm -hmm. we have been hurt. We have trusted the black man and he has shitted on us. Not once, maybe not twice, maybe three times. Mm -hmm. I don't know because women stick around and believe that we can change men. Mm -hmm. If we love them and stick around, we can change them. And not trying to male bash you know, the men, but I'm just saying, the reason why a lot of us women are angry, or we, you call us an angry black woman, is because we done been through so much with men that we will put up with so much. And so you get to a point where you just be like, yo, I'm waving my white flag. I'm done. <laughs> it's nothing else that I can do. I, you, a woman can show you and give a man everything that he needs and require, but if he's not pouring it back into her, she's draining herself. Mentally, mm-hmm. emotionally, physically, she's losing her whole self-esteem, who she is. She don't even know who she is no more because she's trying to appease a man. And then once he takes everything from her, he leaves her and go on and hop up to the next woman and do the <laughs> same thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm just, saying? I think we just gave them a precursor of what they get. They can expect from so, the love and relationship panel. <laughs> It's a little snippet. We ready. That's a snippet of it. But we will have six other panelists, too. Yes. Well, there, That's uh, a lot of snippets. more people coming in to uh, give yes. baby a point on, on love and relationships. So, mm-hmm. I mean, obviously, y'all see we passionate about it. We Very. are three beautiful women that have all, like she said, went through different things and different Absolutely. Uh, love and relationships. And we come together and talk about that thing, you know. We do. Uh, you know. A lot of people are scared to touch on that subject that we just talked about, about the uh, <laughs> white women and black men, you know, thing, or, mm-hmm. you know, interracial dating. We can't be afraid. Why? But you can, you know. Um, we we got to talk about it because, I Why mean, are you scared? Yeah. Well, you we, people are scared because they don't want to offend anybody, but, you know. And we're not like, offending nobody. We're just stating. I mean, you can just, yeah, you can discuss Our opinions. Nobody, nobody's uh, offended. This is bitch. the opinion of Kim, Anna, and Toy on Love and Hips TV. If yeah, you don't like right. it, I'm sorry, but that's my opinion. And you're entitled to it. Exactly. I, I will. And nobody will take that away from me. Free speech. That's right. <laughs> Thank exactly. you. Yes. Yeah, so what's up, Saga? Tell me, what's up, fam? Hey. What's up, Saga? Um, hey, Saga. Hello. What's up, Thanks Saga the boss? <laughs> 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 but, yeah. So, we, I mean, and I don't mean to, I don't want men to think that we're bashing. Because it, it could not just be a black man. Mm-hmm. It could be a white man, Indian and, man. It, yeah. it could be anybody. I'm just saying. Some reason mm-hmm. there's some good men out there, and I'm not gonna just say all men are dogs. Yeah. Because I've raised, I've been raised by some very good men, so mm-hmm. I'm not saying all yeah, men me are too. dogs. But we're just saying some of them. You just be like, you know, I'm I'm done with you. Mm-hmm. I'm done. So you know, 
Don't be like, Next. why you this or why you but that? But then when well, you're done, they want to do the right thing. Dog, but yeah, they, that, they, oh, ain't that they, girl? They get it all when the way you're done, they're, 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 when they're When you all walk all away and you done got back on top, then that's when they come dragging their love, dirty ass right they on back. They always <laughs> come back. Always. And I be like, what you want to do? They only give you a little leash. Like, you're on their leash, and then once you walk away a little further, okay, then they reel you back in. But, babe, once you, you, yeah, you're right. Once you give them just a little bit of, uh, yeah, little, exactly. they, they take off. Boom. And then, and then what will make you, you mad is they do it to you stuff. again. Oh, now you about to die. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, when, and then, you, you, get, and then you get wheeled in because you're like, okay, well, let me give them more chance, you know? Maybe, no. the, maybe the white girls do that. Let me give them one more chance. And that's when we get screwed up, too. Anyway. <laughs> no. So, Sorry. Did you have Sorry. some comments on the, uh, on the topic from oh, um, yeah. the group? We did have Before some. I jump into mine, because I mean, I'm itching. People, yeah. Yeah. And we, uh, well, we can probably do that in closing, because we still really didn't get to touch on, uh, we'll talk about DMX, and then we wanted to talk about Dante Wright and about, you know, police brutality. Brutality. So, yeah. you definitely, definitely want to get in. On some of that as well after after we do our around the house with KP because I'm anxious to see how your weekend and stuff went. <laughs> and how your show went. <laughs> <laughs> microphone <laughs> check, micro microphone <laughs> check up. Oh, <laughs> so uh, let me say, <laughs> uh, you know, in, in my black uh, my black raw, uh, mm-hmm. like whoa. Anyway, yeah. So I mean, we had answers. We had a lot of yes and no no um, answers. Okay. Uh, somebody said it's done all the time. Um, then A.R. Wall said too real to fake anything, especially being in love. Mm-hmm. And then Quanita said, unfortunately, people do it all the time. Um, mm-hmm. Amira. Hey, Amira. She hey, said, man. nah, I'm Gucci. Uh, <laughs> she said she Gucci. She said, nah, I'm Gucci. I'm Gucci. Yeah. She ain't got to fake nothing. <laughs> That's right. Um, Nikki said, I'm terrible at faking anything, so nope. And then we had a lot of no's. It's a no for me. Yeah. Uh, Unique said, nope. It's written all over my face. <laughs> and uh, like DJ can't. said no. Yeah. So, so everybody said no. Everybody said, said no. Yeah, everybody said no. No. For the most no. Part. no people do it. No, mm-hmm. no. I ain't gonna tell you the truth anyway. People do do it. No, people no. do do it though. Because you time. know, you know, back in the day, they say you, you you got a man to change your ties. You got a man over here that's gonna fix this. <laughs> that's right. You got a man over here who you get sex to. Uh, mm-hmm. You got a man over here that's gonna find out you give you something because you mm-hmm. know you spoiled as hell. Mm-hmm. You, got so you, you got like five men. They all everything. do different things. Yeah, and same so you you still using them. You know? Same with women as well. Mm-hmm. Somebody yeah, that's you. cooking for you. Somebody that's doing your clothes. Somebody that's washing your kids. Same thing. It's just like it's the same thing. It's the same thing. So mm, it is what it is. But anyway. <laughs> yeah. Let them use you. No, don't use me. <laughs> don't use me. Don't, no. I'm tired of y'all uh-uh. using me. It's over. All used up. Uh-uh. That, that's over. <laughs> Kimberly, uh, Maisha, that's over. Oh, okay, anyway. So, I want to jump in this. It's been, I want to just really jump into this. So, this, yesterday, I was uh, invited to host a fashion show at Play Bistro. And here are a couple Aww. of pictures. My Aww, girl Audrey, Audrey and my girl Sandy. She had brought her beautiful wings. So she ripped. Oh, yeah, that's Rosaria. Mm-hmm. And that she walked to the side to bring those wings in. They were so <laughs> huge. Mm-hmm. Yes, Audrey. She got <laughs> her eyes closed. And it was a very Audrey. special event. Now, let me tell you the story about oh, this young lady. Oh, my God. Know. When I tell you. Huh, okay, let me. Because I'm getting emotional right now. So after the show was over. I was just networking, talking to other designers, and we were just talking, and a father and a mother walked up to me, and they said, hey, my daughter would like to talk to you, well, meet you, can you meet her? Mm-hmm. So, you know, I'm like, you know, I'm not thinking, I'm saying, oh, okay, sure. <laughs> so, I, when she walked up to me, and she gave me a card, Jack, can you put that card up for me? It was, a, and I, look look at this. This is me with a hat on with the microphone. No, she did put a little wink look, on there. Look at the, look, look at the eye, right? And Not then, right. what's the other part? So, look, it says, Dear Miss Kimberly, I can, you inspire me. Just like you, I had a problem. I never, what is that? I can't even like read it. Show, like to show my never, face in public. Yeah, I can't even read that because I ain't got no glasses. Like to show my, my face, face in public. public. Because I have a slight... Draw uh, problem. Draw problem. Yes. But you have taught me how to be self confident. You are a superstar. Sincerely, your fan. And you know, look at you, sincerely. Stop but it. <laughs> when I tell you I read this and all I can do was cry <laughs> and hold this little girl because, you know, I thought I was on cloud nine by doing this show mm-hmm. and doing all that. But that one second with this little girl who said that she was insecure and she did not want to come out and show her face. And because of me, 
I changed her whole prescription. I lost it. I cried so bad. I held Aww. this little girl, and she was just looking at me while I held her. She, cause she, girl, she didn't so smile. Sweet. She didn't do anything. You could tell she was very timid. Okay. But I talked to her mom She's and so dad. Sweet. I gave them my information. I this was the highlight of my life because it makes me really think about like. You know, these kids living in society today, they 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 kill themselves based on their image or what society say they're supposed to oh, look like. Yeah. Or, you know, they have low self-esteem or they're supposed to look a certain way or just because she has something going on or mm -hmm. something wrong with her, people pick on her. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that's not right. That's how people kill, that's how kids kill themselves. Right. And just because of that one little second, that I've had, and I didn't even really say nothing. I was just talking about loving yourself and loving who you are. And by me being a plus size woman in this industry, it is harder for us because be they want you to look a certain Certainly. look mm -hmm. or you got this and you got that. But I don't give a damn what y'all looking for. I love me. I love my curves. And I'm going to represent that. And you never should be ashamed mm -hmm. or, you know, just insecure on how you feel or what you look. Love every. I got rolls. I got back fat. I don't get too. F I'm sorry. I'm about to get mad. I don't <laughs> care because that's who I am. That's who. That's I've been thick all my life. Mm -hmm. Anybody know me? Know I've been thick all my life, mm -hmm. and I'm never gonna. I never had low self esteem. Mm -hmm. Never. I don't want to have it. Mm -hmm. And now to know I that I can talk and you know mentor you know young girls and young kids, that's a whole different issue now. Cause mm -hmm. now I want to do more. Yeah. Now I know it's more girls out there. Now I want to know more. Now I want to know where they at. Now I want to mentor them. Now I want to, you know, do something with love and hips, of mm -hmm. course, and mentor some of these women. And it ain't just black women. It ain't just it. white kids. And, and so many people, she, she's women Indian. In general, period, yeah, she's, she's Indian. She's, I think she's Indian. Aww. I think. Oh wow. She's okay. beautiful. Yeah. Like, she is. I, I, I cried. Aww. Yeah. When I tell you I got home last night, I had a headache because I kept crying. All I could say was thank you, Lord, mm -hmm. because you put me in a situation to meet this young lady. Mm -hmm. And all I could do is just say thank you. Aww. That's it. That, that was, was the, the most humble experience I just saw, of my I life. That was just so cute. Exactly. I'm going home and I'm oh going to frame that. I got to frame yeah. it. I don't. I got to find me a frame. But yeah, that <laughs> and so that beautiful. is why it's so important to like speak love and everything into our children because this is yes. what happens like in schools and stuff like that. I mean, I work with kids too, and I work with special needs, and Absolutely. you know that's a whole different ball game, especially working with special needs because they are looked at completely differently from this world. Like nobody accepts them, nobody cares. You know, they're just basically just in their own little world. But that is why it's so important. Like, I have a four-year-old, and I always put positive affirmations, everything positive. I love you. I kiss him every morning. I give mm -hmm. him a thousand kisses. I shower him with love. You have to do that because he has to go to school and be around other kids. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not into that bullying stuff. You love everybody. doesn't matter about their color, what they look like. I don't care. You have to do that from a young age. It's very important. And yeah, for for girls, it's, well, it, it used is. to be. And for girls, it's hard. It is yeah. hard. It's and hard. You know, they they want everybody mm -hmm. to fit into the they want yeah. to fit in. salt cutter but for image. Bo but for boys too, because right. because their too. first heartaches is from boys. So mm -hmm. you know, you have to raise boys to be gentlemen and, and show women how to be really loved, not some you know crazy mm -hmm. shit like we're going. Yeah, through but right a, now. A, a lot of these <laughs> a lot of these girls, they their, their upbringing or the home that they're in, they see. Let, let, let's be clear, some of these girls yeah. is really hot in the ass. They way hotter than and then the boys, yes. you yeah. know, they just sit back and they chill because it's so easy yes. for them. Mm -hmm. These little thirsty thought bucket little girls just be doing yes. too much. But they doing too much because mm -hmm. of because what they, they see, see. What and they that's see. what I'm saying. Exactly. Mm -hmm. What they see at home yeah. and in their home, and that's what they, what they see. see. That's what they see on TV. You so know, yeah. Girls mm -hmm. and women so when, when, so when and boys be looking at them and be like, oh, something wrong like with that, you, so. or you ugly, or something wrong with your mouth or your face. Fuck, and then that, that tears her whole self esteem down yes, just by what that boy or that, that man said to her. Mm -hmm. I don't so care what that person what said to you. Exactly. I absolutely are, don't care. Words are powerful, so That's you true. have to really. Like, I want to take her shopping. Like, I want to do something. <laughs> yeah. Like, I want to do something for her. Mm -hmm. it's that, it's, I want to stay in contact with her. Uh, you know, to teach young, yep, you know, one, young women to be confident in themselves. You know, I get that all the time. You know, it's like, uh, you know, somebody might even just jump into my DM and, and ask, "What? Where does my confidence come from?" Yes, because honey, I, you got it's it over all 10. the time. <laughs> don't you, Anna? Lord. I, don't say it like I'm confident. It's over like fifteen. I'm <laughs> don't say it like I'm cocky or I'm arrogant. I'm no, not. you're not. You're not arrogant. But, but I mean, you confidence. have to believe in yourself. That confidence is, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's up there. It's up there. It I, I keep it up there. <laughs> Kim. <laughs>
<laughs> that's right. And that's where you're supposed to keep it at. You I'm know? Like, so if somebody if somebody down. tries to knock you down, they ain't going to be able to bring you all the way down. You know, they got a long way to come mm-hmm. down, okay? No. So you might say uh, say something to bring me down a little peg or two. What, 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 Car- all what did Cardi down. B say? What's up and it's up and it's up and it's up. And it's up, and it's up. up. <laughs> so sorry, it's, we're not coming Don't down. Don't get me started there because we listen to Cardi B oh, at church. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> not at church. At church when they were doing their little walk. Yeah, I was motivated. Like, I don't know if I wanted to sing or twerk at church. The edited version. Don't twerk in church. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn like whoa. Okay, I'm sorry. Go back to it. So silly. Back to it. Yeah. (laughs) Sorry. Oh God. So um, we we glad to be back in the studio, y'all. You know, we had a little break time and everything. We did. Um, during the time that we were out, though, we had, of course, we had the death of uh, of a legendary uh, DMX, and Mm. um, you know, um, Mm. he. Was an amazing person. A lot of people didn't know that he was. He was just. A he just had this great spirit, and he was a legend. And people didn't really listen to his words. Spiritual. You just can't believe it. Like in his stories in his in his music. I mean, he told his story. He sure did. He was transparent. Definitely. All the time. And did not care. And uh, you know, it was like I am who I am. What you really want? From me? <laughs> <laughs> That's my. Shit. I know. Oh, and like, I've been hey. listening to some of the, some of his old. I mean, some of his music for days, and I'm on the radio want, the day man. after he past they did a tribute and they played his music all day so uh really got to you know they was all at the hospital with him yeah playing the music out loud all the rough riders everybody i wish i could i would have paid money to be in new york then yeah Mm -hmm. i would have been like on the corner ready let me ride (laughs) with y'all yeah so you know he was a uh a a good person person. what's your favorite dmx song what y'all know let me see what's that one um Look at Let me think about it. Look at Anna over there Googling. Let me Google my phone. Anna got a Google. She got a, No, the one, um, what are you, it's, now, now I got to Google. I put them on the spot. Google. What's yours? I just told you what they really want. Oh, from no, 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 it's not mine. It's like, mm, I love no. that song. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. But you know what? Once mm. drugs, like, it doesn't matter if you're a good person or not. It's like once drugs take over, you could become a completely different person because it's not just you. It's, you know. Well, he's been doing drugs for a long time. He's been he a has. functional. And yeah. he's been he's open been about that. He's very been open about yeah. his he's, journey. He's interviewed he about stopped, it. He stopped. He get clean and then stuff happens. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean he, everybody has an addiction. I'm trying to figure out. What, I think exactly. it was the interview. I think he did an interview with maybe Ayama. Van Fix Van. my life. Yes. Yeah. My life. yeah. And, and uh, she talked to him about his song. addiction and he was like, it is what it is. That's what it is. Yeah. You know, he said, I do have my moments where I'm clean for a long time. And then, you know, I would like to, I would like to speak with his uh, ex-wife because I know she knows the struggle and she has to be a strong woman to go through that. Cause he had 15 kids. Not all wow. by her. Which one? But to, uh, did you she know, say which that? one? <laughs> Did she Google it? I'm not gonna. No, I pulled up the song list. <laughs> yeah, she pulled up the playlist. It's the it's, it's this one here. Lord, Which one? They don't Google. Uh, no, that's it. That's not they it. Do it. Who DMX. we be? That's who the we be? one. Who we be is my favorite. Who we be? <laughs> that's right, the who one. We be. That's the one. So I I like the words in that song. So what about so. The, what y'all know about Black Rob that died? You know, he was in the hospital and he died. That's the one that's saying, like, whoa. Yeah. Y'all know that song? Yeah. I don't know. I did. Something like, he's, whoa. He's like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Girl. And everybody be like, that. like, whoa. Girl, I used to yeah. love that wrong. You know so, what? But what? Yeah. You know. I'm New York right now. Yeah, yeah you are. Yeah. I so I'm going to go toe for toe, blow for blow, like, whoa. Oh, <laughs> yes. You got it out. Y'all ain't ready. Yes. looking for. Girl. <laughs> I should have been born in New York. I oh love New York men, yeah, so should. that's probably why. But I should have been born in New York. Mm-mm. Oh, God, I cannot. <laughs> I love my ATL. Can't be the rapper. <laughs> coming out next, y'all. Uh, who, who, who my girl? What's our girl name? Who? Who's my other Kim name? K-Cole. K-Cole, K-Cole, K-Cole. coming for you. K-Cole. K-Cole. Oh, that's right. I need a duo on, on one of your albums. <laughs> I'm coming. KP. But yeah. KP and K-Cole collide. But, um... <laughs> y'all so Deontay great. Wright. Rest in peace, DMX. Yes. Rest in peace, Black Rob. And uh, you yes, know, rest in peace. We will forever be listening to your legends, music. legends, yeah. legendary music, legends. <sighs> so we got to talk about um, this police brutality. Last but not least, out, right? and we're going out with a bang on this. <laughs> Let's talk about it. <sighs> yeah, Dante Wright. It's hard to even say it. Um, say his name, Dante Wright. Um, mm-hmm. Young twenty-year-old man. 
scared to death when he got stopped by the police. Stopped by an officer that's been on the force for 26 years. Mm -hmm. But you don't know the difference between Stop it, your gun <laughs> and your taser. They weigh different. Bull. They're all different. Bull. They all they both have a safety. Absolutely. You don't know after being on the force for twenty six <laughs> years. You even carry them on you on different Trains. sides of your hips. No, one's he, on the right, he knows. one's on the he left. Knows. She so knows. he knows. You take this young man's life and immediately yelling that it's an accident, it's an accident. Oh my god, I shot him. I she shot knows. him. You You knew. knew. You knew. So it is time. For you all to be held accountable for your actions. We are tired. Absolutely. Of you all killing our innocent black men. Absolutely. And then always trying to depict it like they were doing something wrong. Or they were doing something to provoke the outcome. <laughs> they did not. He did not. He was minding his business. Whatever the stop was did not cause for him to lose his life. Absolutely not. So... We are tired, and as black women, and as uh, my sister here, she has a black son as well. As we black. are tired. We do not yes. want to have to be worried about our child every time mm -hmm. he steps mm -hmm. outside, every time that he decides that he don't have his tail lights on, mm -hmm. or what it's a tail or light has, out, or, has or a air freshener. Yeah, on the whatever side of the situation is, that ridiculous. you are going to stop him because we are scared that our kids are not going to make it home. And they have done a lot you of videos. You have a job to protect and serve. Right, exactly. They're killing us. Right, just because the, the skin is different. But they have a lot of videos, uh, you know, with white people as well. They do not get treated the same at all. At, at all. At all. It's ridiculous. And then they always saying, oh, well, if you would they comply. They get a pat on the back and If you would ticket. comply, if you would comply. But what do you mean if you would comply? Did you guys see the, the lieutenant or whoever? Who was that? Was that a lieutenant that was driving? I don't know. And they stopped know. him? Mm, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And he had his hands he up. And he had was his like, hands what up. And they wrong? still was. Sir, what am yep. I doing wrong? And they were just harassing him. I mean, they had their He's guns a lieutenant. on and everything. Yes. They did not and care. I'm like, wait a minute. Don't you guys work together? Like, they don't, but they don't, they don't mess up with that one. They don't mess up with that one. Yes, but they, they, they don't mess up with all of them. Yes. Even, let me tell you something. If that George Floyd case that they're going to have Monday. If they let that man get off. No, they better not. They ain't. <laughs> let me not. tell you. No. It's a, I'm telling you now. Y'all, I ain't even got nothing else to say because that's going to make, I'm shaking. It's going to be a world. I'm shaking if that man get off. Say That is that's pure true. murder. That is pure murder. Murder. He that murdered is. that man. It's nothing about him being on drugs. That's bullshit. It is. He had it his is. knee on his neck and, and that man could not him. breathe. Right. He telling you that. Yes, and when he was talking about his mama and everything, and, and your whole look and your story, whole demeanor while you're tears. sitting on this black man's neck, taking his life, and his last words was "mama." Right. You got to oh, And you still you shoving your me. knee into his neck when he's already breathless. Already breathless. And he's just sitting and he's there. Still, he's breathless. For an extra, after he was already <laughs> unconscious, you still on his neck for an extra three and a half minutes. Exactly. Come on now. Exactly. And everybody that's Come doing this, oh, it's justified. We, the fuck it's we're not over justified. It. I'm, we're over it. We're not standing yeah. for it anymore. <laughs> it has got to stop now. And mm -hmm. um, I don't know what needs to be done. I don't know if these officers Will need to be Will it take the black people to retaliate to stop all this? Because when, you know, that's just going to be a whole another world. Well, it, it's some white people that's and ridiculous. black people. It's Asian people. It's all kinds yeah. of people. Mm -hmm. But exactly. at the end of the day, like, what? What, what is it going to take? because your wife does not make you God. What is it going to take? It's power to take away someone's life. That's Especially ridiculous. Especially mothers that have sons. <laughs> I have a 17-year-old <laughs> And a six-year-old. That seventeen-year-old mm -hmm. of mine, I cannot sleep unless I know where he is at, at. Right. At all times, he may say, "Mama, I'm dramatic" or whatever, but he don't understand. Mm -hmm. These police officers do not care, care that he's an AB student, that he's a, 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 a athlete, uh, he athletic, and he's going to college, a full scholarship. Right? They don't give a damn about none of that. They <laughs> yeah. could take my whole baby life, and I pray over him every, every day. Exactly. Same with mine too. Every and day he's mixed by the end of the day. That he's he still black in this community. Anytime. And my, Anytime. And my son, and I have had this talk with him ever since. He was young. But it's not just dad, the sons. It's the father, the too. It it's, is. The dad, it's, it's the dad. It's the granddad. It's anybody that's anybody black. Anybody that's black and driving. It could be one of us. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're black. Like black and walking down the street. Or just being black. That I can have my cell phone in my hand. That, that's a gun? You gonna <laughs> or, shoot me? Or air freshener hanging up from your car. <laughs> you gonna shoot me? I can it's have ridiculous. a hoodie on walking down the street. I mean, Are you gonna shoot me? Because I got a hoodie on? 
That's my son loves hoodies every day, and he goes jogging early in the morning. Are you gonna shoot my son because he want to go jogging? I'm telling you now. Somebody touched my well, son. I'm dying. Who, who was that? I'm dying. That they were looking for. And you know what? I just watched this recently on the you internet. Take my it, was life a, now. it was a guy that walked into a CVS, and um, it was another. He, I forgot where he was at, and he just came off work, and he went to CVS trying to buy shampoo. And there was another store next door, and they called CVS and said that a man was wearing a black shirt and a red hat or whatever. So they came and told this man that he could not shop at CVS because he just stole from the other store. He had this whole thing on recording, and he was like, so you guys, just because I fit the description, like, I can't shop here anymore? Like, And then they went back, and he was recording it. He went back to the store, and the lady was like, oh, no, it was a red shirt and not a black shirt. Like, bullshit. what? I mean, this, it was just crazy. Like, I mean, just stop. This is ridiculous. It's just a blatant slap in the face for her. Everything that um, you know, we fought for, you know, right. that Martin Luther King fought for, Rosa Malcolm Parks X fought for, the Ro Rosa Parks. I mean, come on, we are reverting back. We're going backwards. Harriet Tubman. And it, this is, I mean, it's, it's two thousand twenty one. How in the hell are we going back to the nineteen sixties and fifties perspective? Mm -hmm. No, we're not. Right. We're, we are not doing that. You know, uh, and I mean, I hate for it to be a race war over, uh, I mean, come on, people. You know, it's a time we are all equal, you know, and it, it, it's just crazy out here. This world that we are living in right now is just insane. Mm -hmm. We got so much stuff going on. And the last thing that I will touch on is we even have, we starting to have these mass shootings again. People are just losing mm -hmm. their minds. They are shooting, you know. Mental uh, illness. It's mental real. illness. It's real. You know, so it's That so COVID has broke down here. so many people. People have lost their business. People have lost their home. People have lost everything. Mental illness is real. And y'all need to recognize that and not wait till after somebody go crazy mm -hmm. and then be like, oh, he was sick or he was crazy. He needed help a long time ago. Right. She needed help. The mass um killing at FedEx where he killed eight Fed people. Ed. Then you killed the yourself. One. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or about the boy in Decatur? And they they shot himself and, they, and clearly the man said that he had a mental illness and something was wrong with him. But they shot him anyway. Mm -hmm. Y'all didn't taser him. Y'all just shot him. What about the football player? Did you got the, the football, football player? player killed, yeah. The five people. It just, it's so many and stories that we can name. Yeah. It's just too many like, stories. It's all happening again. All and the, the Asian thing. here in Atlanta. You know, yeah, they, the, they, Asian they the Asian community. But so, I'm sorry, the Asian community is just started something happening now. They've been killing us black folks for decades. decades. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. Decades. They probably mad. So that, I mean, nothing is wrong. I mean, I'm not saying that. Just to add a little just mix in there. Just because you're doing it, it, killing is wrong. Period. Mm -hmm. oh, they've been killing us Nobody for decades. Nobody gave you the right. Nobody gave anybody. The they've right been killing kill us anybody. forever, 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 ever. Forever, ever. Don't get me started. <laughs> All yes. I can say is y'all keep God first That's and y'all right. pray every day when y'all leave that house. Over yourself. Pray over your, your family. Daughter. Manifest it. Ask God to cover you and your family every day. Every day. Because we wake up today and we could die tomorrow. That's, That's how right. easy it is. So don't wait. Like we said, we're not waiting on strut. We're going <laughs> to do what we got to do. Right. Because tomorrow ain't promised to nobody. That's right. Mm hmm Nobody. That's right. That's my that's my KP sitting there. Oh, do we day. have a phone call? I guess not, but you know yeah, what? Yeah, we do. We do? Yeah, Where love and TV. Hey ladies, it's Charlie. Hi, hey, Charlie. Charlie. Hey, great show tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we emotional tonight. Yeah, we emotional tonight. We, we have some are stuff to talk about today. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know, I just wanted to say rest in peace to DMX, rest in peace to Black Bob, rest in peace to all those who have died by uh, Amen. Hmm. By gun violence. Uh, and, yeah, gun violence. Well, I wouldn't say gun violence, but I'm talking about what? particularly the police. Oh, okay. You know, unjustified shooting nah. and stuff like that. Yeah, I was speaking of mass shooting but, when I was saying gun violence, but. Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, all the racism and all the different things. I mean, that's, that stuff needs to stop. So Absolutely. maybe, maybe, just maybe, for the <laughs> next show, when we introduce a relationship panel, maybe we can do some healing. <laughs> mm. That sounds yeah. like a plan. <laughs> All right. Absolutely. We We're going to heal some of our relationships. In racism, in uh, police violence, in mass shootings, all of that. All right. Just by watching our show. <laughs> That's, That's right. Plan. All right. That's right. That's right. We're definitely going to shed light on this situation. 
exactly. Watching these three confident ladies should end world hunger, everything. Exactly. <laughs> That's definitely how I go. That would be All great. Right, Charlie out. Charlie. <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. Oh, man. So, y'all know, we got a, we got a little emotional on this show because, I mean, it's just a lot going on in this world. Uh, like I said, during our break, all, a lot of things happened during the time that we we have been off the show for our spring break. Uh, we got great things going on in our own lives, but there's a lot of, uh, of things going on outside that we definitely all as people need to work on. So mm-hmm. right. um, we are looking forward to the next show. Love and so hips. Excited. The relationship panel. Y'all don't yep. want to miss it. We are going <laughs> to delve into all things. Thank love you. and relationships. No holds barred. So. Rest in peace, DMX. May the second. Y'all stay, stay tuned. tuned. Love and hips out. Stay All blessed. Right. Thank you.